Tomorrow, John David will have a two-year-old named Vol Hunt in the Grand Circuit race for freshman trotters. He's a very talented colt who's one of the fastest in America this year. But today he's got Tants, and here they come for race 11. They're off and trotting. There goes American Native. Tant is there between horses. Pine drop toward the inside, and Smoke and Lantern away forth on the far outside. American Native is driving to get the lead at the entry to the first turn. Pine drop moves up second inside of Tant. Smoke and Lantern goes a wide fourth outside of Victory Party. Then Wonder Worker One and Wonder Dancer, who is trailing the field at the quarter mile mark. American Native makes the top. Smoke and Lantern is still parked off the opening quarter in 27 and 3. American Native was parked for most of that opening quarter, and Smoke and Lantern just made a break. So Smoke and Lantern, who's one of the favorites in this race, drops out to the back of the field. American Native leads it by a length down the backside. Here comes Pine Drop. John Campbell pulls the trigger right now and Pine Drop moves up for the lead. American Native second, Tant is getting a good trip third, Victory Party is fourth, Wonder Worker one is fifth, Wonder Dancer is sixth, and Smoke and Lantern seventh after that mistake. He is 25 lengths off the lead. They got the half in 56 and one. Pine Drop leads them by a length onto the final turn. American Native second by three. Tant is third a half length. Victory Party is off the rail and moving for Tactor from the fourth position. Then Wonder Worker one, Wonder Dancer and Smoke and Lantern, and they're at the three quarters, and they're all chasing Pine Drop. Here comes American Native to the outside from second. He's still a length off the lead. Victory Party, third is three lengths from the front. They got three quarters and one, 25, and four. Pine Drop leads them by a length at the head of the stretch, and American Native needs to find more. He's still lingering second. Gap of three to Victory Party. Tant has nothing for the stretch drive. In the final eighth mile, Pine Drop leading American Native by a length and a half. Victory Party third, then Wonder Worker one. It is Pine Drop by two. Pine Drop by two and a half. He's the best. The Alexander Memorial to Pine Drop by a length and a half and 154 and two for John Campbell. American Native was second, Victory Party third. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the leading money-winning driver in harness racing history, and he's back in the winner's circle at the State Fair. He's from Canada originally, John Campbell, ladies and gentlemen, with Pine Drop. Bob Bencal, the winning trainer of this Pine Chip Colt, bred by the tradition-laden Arden, Arden Homestead Stable of Goshen, New York. Little E Limited Liability Corporation is the co-owner with Robert Rosenheim Stables Limited and Arthur Geiger of New York, Connecticut, and New Jersey. Pernilla Ingbloom of Sweden will receive the caretaker's medallion from John Cisna of the Review Association. And George Alexander Jr. and Jean Galen, son and daughter respectively of the late George Alexander, will present the trophy in honor and memory of their father for this featured race today.